Hello, welcome to another dialogue tutorial. Hope you're doing alright. Hope you're great today. Today, I'm going to show you how you can allow your users leave comments and reviews in your dialogue app. This would normally work in if you're using, if you're building some sort of a social media application, if you're building a blog, or you're just building anything that will allow your users to leave reviews and to leave comments. It really works. It really works every time. So Adalo has this nice way that you can allow your users to leave comments in a very slick and amazing way. And you really don't have to. Uh, you really don't have to use so much bandwidth. You do not have to um, use so much of your data. It's it's a very simple database structure, and you just have to create the right relationship, and you're good to go. So let's get let me show you a demo first. So this is um yeah, this is the app I've been using. So I'm still gonna work on this um application. This is an Instagram clone that I'm currently working on. At the end, I'm gonna show you how to build it uh, in another class. Um besides I just released an API and, and a beginner's guide to an um to using API in Adalo, it's free. Go to my YouTube channel and check it out. If you're looking forward to making sure that your your um you're looking forward to making sure that your app you can give your app that robust um uh, feature. I mean, you want to connect your app to to different tools and you want to connect it to different platforms out there you know feel free to check check out that that uh, tutorial and you're going to learn a whole lot about um, using API in Adalo so let's go so this is my this is a post so you can imagine this to be a blog post or some social media post and here this is a comment so if I say this is lovely this is lovely and i click on the poll on the on the i click on this it really just um leave a comment it leaves a comment right there and tells me the person who left the comment the image of the person who left the comment and one beautiful thing about this is that it counts the comment for this particular post every time that's the same way your Facebook works. It just counts the comment and leaves a comment and keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. Another beautiful thing that you can do is that you can allow users leave a comment for a comment. Yeah, that's something that you will find on Facebook, on Instagram. Though I've not done it on this app, but it's something that you can do. It's the same system. It works the same way. You. The difference is that... This is static, yeah, but this other one, the one, the comment of a comment, you can um, probably leave a leave a call to action right there. That when the user click on it, they can actually leave a comment for a comment. So let's go. Let me show you how to do this. So I'll close this, and then I'll open a. I'm gonna open a. Yeah, I'll just open an app. Okay, let's go for. So I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna create a new app, just like so. New app. So just call this. Just call this comment demo. Then I'll say create. So the first thing we want to go do is to set up our database. I'll click on the data side. So we want to create two two database. So I'm gonna imagine this is a post. Yeah, this is a post. This is a post, and I'm gonna say add. Then we have the 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 test, the summary, summary. Yeah. Then we have the detail. So this is like a post detail. So you can add more, but for for um, to just make it very easy. So that's why we're doing it like this. Then we'll add a relationship to a user. A user can have multiple posts and a post belong to um a, a post belongs to one user. So this is a one to many relationship. If you've not if you really want to understand this, I've I have a I have another video that will teach you how to create relationship in Adalo. Go ahead, check it out. It's right there. So I will just call this post auto. 
I'll just call this post author and click on save. So the next thing you want to do is to create another collection called comment. Um, you can guess why. So this will be the test, the comment test right there. Then this would be the relationship with the post. So um, a post can have multiple comments, a comment belongs to one post. So it's another one-to-many relationship. So um, that's what you need to do to get this started. So this is how we're going to structure this. This is our, this is our, our home screen and this is where we want to leave the comment and the post. We'll just go ahead and populate our database a bit with post and comment. So just um, copy some lorem ipsum. Just gonna copy this and make it pretty fast. Copy, put it right there. Uh, this is the detail. What is a post? There's no auto yet, so we'll just leave it that way. Add another. Just add another one. Same thing. What is a post to? So now we'll leave it this way. Then we can then come to the post the comment and say add a comment. So we can say this is a comment. One amazing thing you see is because we've created a relationship between the post and the comment, you're going to see. So now we can tie a comment to a post. So if I click this, this po comment belongs to this post only. So now you can see how it works. Then so let's go ahead and you know structure this. So when we would add a list, so this is the way it's gonna work. We'll add a list to it. We'll just add a card list. So this is gonna be a card. I'm not gonna worry so much about the about the beauty. I'm not going to worry too much about the beauty of this. So this is a card. And click on the card right there. I'm going to take away the image. No image, just, you know, the, the, the title and the body. For the title, it's going to be... for the title. This is going to be a list of posts, yeah? It's going to be a list of posts. It's going to be all posts. We just leave it that way. Then we'll leave it two posts. And we'll go ahead and say title, post summary, yeah, for the subtitle, mm, let's not add anything to it, it's okay, it's fine, <clears throat> for the body, it's fine, uh, that's fine, <clears throat> then let's go ahead and add the title, the title will just make it a little bit tiny, just make it tiny, just make it 16 right there, so it fills the entire space. And also we can make the click on the card and we can make the column single column. So this is fine. We're making a single column and that's fine. Um, that's all we have to do here. So we're going to add a click action right there. So the click action, the click action, so when it's clicked, will link to another screen. This is where we're going to comment. This is where the commenting works, just like Facebook. The comment can work in the post if you're displaying the full post, it can work. But if you're not displaying the full post, you have to redirect you have to redirect them to another to another another screen where they get to add the comment. So here, this would just be a post title. You can you can style this however you want, but to keep it short, I'm not styling. So this would be the current post summary. Then we'll just pull this right here. This will be this will be the current post detail, and then we want to allow users comment. So I love to leave the comment at the bottom of it because some posts can be really really long, can be so long. So you don't want users to keep scrolling and scrolling all the way. So what we're going to do, we'll just create a shape, put a shape. So let's pull a shape at the bottom of it. Simple, just put a rectangular shape at the bottom right here. Put a rectangular shape at the bottom. Yeah, 
So this is going to serve as a placeholder for our post. That's what's for our comment system. Then we'll put an input. This is going to be our input. Right here, you can style it again the way you want to style it. It's fine. But I don't really want to care about styling right now. I just want to show you how this works. Then I'm going to pull an icon. So the icon, just watch, the icon is going to be inside the input. So you can do it both ways. You can, you can uh, put it inside like so, or you can reduce the size of the input and put it right here. It's the same thing, not so much difference. Uh, but it's just a bit conventional to put it inside, just like what other applications are doing. So hence the reason why I am doing the same. And here we want to say, we want to add the send. That's what you want to do right here. So that's what you want to do right there. So this is going to be our click action. When this is clicked, we'll create a new comment. When this is clicked, we'll create a new comment for this particular post. And then, once we're good with this, the next thing we want to do is to add a list. Yeah, add a list. And this is going to be a list of comment. So we'll add a list to it. So what you do, you display the comment of this post. You add a list to it. So this is going to be a list of comment. And you're going to filter current post comment. That's what you're doing. Current post comment. And then we'll come down here and say title is going to be comment here, subtitle. Mm. Let's say the subtitle is going to be, the subtitle should be the comment author. Logged in the comment author. That's the current post, the comment author, but we did not create the relationship with it. So there's no, there's no need to add that. For the left screen, the avatar, mm, nothing. Nothing because we did not create a relationship with it. So we don't want to do that now. It's fine. I'm pretty sure you know how to create relationships. If you don't, go ahead and watch up, watch my other videos on how to create database relationship. And you know how to figure this out yourself. So then the last thing we want to do is when we click on this icon here, add an action, we would say create a comment. That's what we're going to do. Create a comment. That's what we'll do. And we'll just, the comment would just be, the test will be, this test yeah this one it will be other component input the comment the post will build the current post and would say that but you can also say you only want this to happen when sometimes because sometimes this will not this will just be empty and users will create a post and it would still create a comment in your database so you want to avoid unnecessary roles or you want to have, avoid empty spaces you'll be like when other component input is not equal to empty. So it will only work when this input is not empty. If it's empty, it, will, it won't work. If it's not empty, it will work. So you say, done. That's how you create comment. Let's go ahead and preview. Let's go ahead and preview. So this is the hour of truth right here. That's one thing I love about Adalo is that you have the ability to debug your application right away because sometimes a lot of things won't work. It's been sign, in, sign up. A lot of things won't work for you right off the bat. So you have the ability to um, debug your application as you build. <clears throat> I created a video on how to debug your application. It's a cool thing. Go ahead, check it out so you can see. These are posts and there is a component here. There is a component here. So if I say, this is cool, watch what happens. Click on this button. So you see what happened? This is cool, it's showing right here. If I said, this is awesome. This is awesome. Click on it. See, it's showing right there. You see what it is? So, but, Okay, now this is empty, click on it, nothing happens. Click on it, nothing happens because it's not gonna work until this particular screen is not empty. It's not gonna work until this particular screen is not empty. So there's another thing that you want to do. There's a way this will keep coming and when this gets to the bottom of it, it will 
you just have trouble. You have trouble with the user experience. So, for example, if I keep populating this, keep saying this is awesome, I just take um, a letter. I just take a letter, keep populating. Take a letter, keep going. Keep going. You can see it goes out of the screen, which is terrible for user experience. Now your commenting is gone. So what you want to do is to click on this, click on this, you know, just highlight this, make it a group first. So I'm making it a group. Then go to style. Go to edit style and say bottom. So here yeah, you're leaving it at the bottom. So if I click on this, uh, you would see it stays at the bottom of things. That's where it stays like forever. It stays at the bottom of things. So you can see it's still going to be here for a very long time. But we're going to have another issue. So let's keep going. There's going to be another issue. Keep going. So you can see it's going under, 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 under. And it's not supposed to work like that. It's going under. And especially if this particular component is transparent, you're going to have trouble. So let's see if it's, let's make it transparent. Make this group transparent. The rectangle, uh, let's just make it transparent and see what's going to happen. So say preview again. So this video is taking a while. You've learned the fundamentals already. It's taking a while because I want you to get it right. I really want you to perfect it and get it right. Hence the reason why it's taking a while. So you can see, you can see what's happening. So it's going beneath it because this is transparent now and this is not good user experience so what you can do is to add another rectangle you see how this is going to work go to shape just add another rectangle beneath add another rectangle beneath the comment section make it very transparent i'll just take away the background it's fine. No background. Make it very transparent. This will just serve as a space between the between the comment and the and the input and the comment. Yeah. So click on preview again. Then you see what happens. Yeah. You see what happens. Okay. Uh, this is not working the way I want it to work. Not good. Okay, yeah. So I think this is cool now. So there is a there is a white space, some sort of a white space between this and this. So as you populate the comment, you have this white space. As you keep going, you have the white space beneath it. So that's how to create a commenting system in Adalo. Um, Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to leave a comment. Feel free to subscribe. And if you want to, if you're looking forward to building stuff, building your MVP with Adalo, feel free to reach out to me. Um, feel free to reach out to me. You know, the, my my youth, my Twitter handle is in the comment section below. Is in the description below. Feel free to reach out to me. And I mean, you just want to ask questions, leave it in the comment section, and I'll do it to reply to you. Thank you very much for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Have yourself a very beautiful Halloween.